Hey guys, today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing video of this EMF tester from Eric Hill. So um, I picked this up on Amazon, and um, if you're looking for where you can pick this up, you, there should be a link in the description, but basically it detects uh, electric fields and magnetic fields. So here's a bunch of stats on it. We may or may not go over those in more detail in a future video, and we may, we may do another demo of this in the future, but for now we're gonna do a quick unboxing and, and maybe test it out real quick. So it's, uh, yeah, professional instruments, color screen display, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just open this guy right up. Comes with a nice manual. Um, here's the device itself. Um, relatively solid build. Um, doesn't feel that, that expensive, but it doesn't feel cheap either. Um, comes with a cable. And what else do we have? I, I thought this was supposed to have come with batteries. Let, let's see. Or maybe it has batteries inside it, but that's about it. That's all you get. You get this. Th this is part of the, you know, what it would hang on. It. It, anyways, part of the box, basically. So <clears throat> let's throw that to the side here. This is what you get. The manual, cable, and the device itself. So let's take a quick look here. And yep, there we go. So I, I was gonna check if there's, you know, some way, you know, if I had to open it up and put batteries in, but uh, I quickly realized after pressing the power button that it, it already has batteries in it. It looks like it's probably, it looks like it's fully charged. So it comes fully charged and it's already beeping because there's a ton of, I guess, depending on which way. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Depending on which way I hold it, it's detecting a lot of, uh, it's detecting a lot anyway. So, um, yeah, facing this way, it's not detecting much. Turn it this way, and you know, it starts beeping once it gets over a certain level. So, there we go. So, yeah, facing this way, maybe if I move it over here. I mean, there's a ton of stuff around me that could be setting this off. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to read the manual and uh, play around with this a little bit more before I uh, make another video. This is going to deserve another video, but this is basically what the device is going to give you. And, um... I mean, I watched some of the, the videos of other people playing around with this and similar results. Um, I mean, I'm around my camera, my lighting, all kinds of wires and stuff. All right, so the sound is pretty annoying, but um, any case, it was uh, interesting. So I was, this actually uh, makes more sense. So I have a light right behind this camera and that's what's setting this off and, and maybe my camera too. But um, yeah, this beeping sound is really, really annoying. But if I move it away, I'm actually gonna carry my camera with me. All right, so here we go. I've moved it away from the, the lights a little bit and I'm holding, I'm basically holding my camera, which is my iPhone actually. Now, there's a magnet over here. We're gonna show you the magnet first, the magnetic effect. And then we're also gonna show you, um, <clears throat> you know, we're gonna show you how it detects um, electric fields. So, oh, as soon as I touch it, it starts detecting an electric field a whole lot faster, which is kind of interesting. Take my hands off. I, I, get, I guess it's, it's flowing through me as well. So I, I've heard people, people have, um, you know, given tips about this, that if you attach it to like a selfie stick, it's, it's a little bit easier to uh, not pick things up. I'm kind of thinking I'll do that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it and just show you. Don't pay attention to that top number. That's the electric field. Notice the magnetic field isn't that high. Let me move this magnet way over here. Now magnetic field isn't that that high, but it's you can see it. Now watch when I move this over to my light over here. Notice that number on the top goes way up there. It's like almost a thousand, right? Almost a thousand when it's touching the light behind my camera. Move it away. It's still alerting, but it gets down below 100, right? So 70 is still alerting, but hey, um, you know, so there's there's an electric field. Um, 
Say if we move it over here, now I have a huge mess of cables back here, um, but let's move it to this power strip right here and see what this does. Oh, similar thing as with the light. Okay, we're only getting up to into the 500s. All right, we were getting some magnetic interference there too. So that's kind of interesting. I guess that was kind of near a speaker, so that's probably why that was doing that. But if I move this way over here, you'll notice it goes down to practically nothing. A little bit of magnetic interference I can turn this way and it's really close to nothing, even though I'm holding it. Now, if I were to let go of it, I'm betting it goes down to even less. Well, I guess electrical is down to zero and yeah, magnet is not changing too much. All right, so I'm going to uh, keep this over here on the floor and uh, just cause it's away from the table where everything electrical is. Now let's move a magnet close to it. Now, H field is, is in the twenties or thirties and this thing went off on me. All right, power back on. All right, so 20 years and thirties, move it right up to the magnet and look at that, it's, all right, it goes up a little bit. You know, it was just when I touched it. All right, let's take another. When I take this magnet, is it reacting to the magnet or my hand? All right, when I touch the magnet to it, you see that number is getting a whole lot higher, the number on the bottom there, almost towards 100. I've, I've, I've had it go, you know, or almost towards one, right? When it's touching it. Now I found if my hands are holding it like this, I guess it seems to block the magnetic field a little bit, but if I hold it like this, it doesn't block it as much and it seems to get a higher reading. See, I got up over two for a minute there. Now move the magnet away. It's gonna go back down to about right there, right? No warning at all. 20s and 30s, really more like 30s. Now, see if I move my hand there. My hand isn't doing too much by itself, right? Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so not a whole lot to say about it. See, even now when I'm not near an electrical field, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't do too much. So I think it's just an electrical field will end up passing through my body maybe, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, magnetic field, touching it doesn't seem to have much of an effect. So like my hand doesn't have any effect on it. Um, yeah, anyway, take the magnet, move it close. Look at that, holding it this way. It's jumping all over the place. But it seems only when, it, maybe only when I move the magnet. Magnet's moving and it's really picking up now. Okay, if the magnet moves a little bit, it's really, really picking it up. It's getting up towards like five and six. You hold the magnet still. it goes down pretty far, it can't even detect it. It's actually lower when there's no magnet. Let's try holding it like this. It's hard to hold it still enough that it doesn't detect it. Start moving it around and there you go. Picking up the field. Let's watch it go down to nothing. Now, let's put the magnet over here. Is it detecting it? Say if I move it around, a little bit. Detects it a little bit. Not as much as, you know, up here. This is the sensing area, so. You need to detect more when you have it up on this sensing area. It's kind of interesting. So, if, if your magnet was still in one place, all right, you can just leave this here like this, right? I think it's because I can't hold this tool still. But if you move this, it's gonna t you can move it close to the magnet and move, your, move this around if you have a stationary magnet. This should help you detect it. But I, again, you know, if it's dependent on, on your movement, um, you know, how accurate is that? Is it really 
measuring the field and how much should you have to move it for it to work. Look, look, look at those numbers. That, that is a high number when I actually move the tool, not even touching the magnet or anything. So that is, that's pretty interesting anyways. So, all right, my first time playing with a tool like this that lets me uh, detect magnetic fields and electrical fields. That is pretty neat. Um, see, I'm down to about a really low number, right? So, see, move this around a little bit and it starts detecting it, even though I'm a good ways away. Now, I didn't, I don't think I had to do that at all with the electrical field. All right, so let's move this over he back over here. And notice I can move the, and it went off on me again. All right, great. Anyways, so let's back up a little bit. So it's, it's, it's lower. Now, as we get closer, um, we get close to this light. Notice it's just gonna go right up there. I'm holding it relatively still. You don't have to move it for, to detect uh, an electrical field, right? Now, I can pretty much just set this down here Let's see. All right, movement makes a difference, but you hold it still and it looks like it's staying steady at around 189, 190. Yeah, pretty close, about 189. Yeah, so interesting. You don't have to move it for it to detect the electrical field. Although if you do move it, it's gonna go a whole lot higher. Now we can move this back over here. You're gonna watch that drop down. You know, you leave it still it's not detecting much. It de detects something, but not much. Move it around, it detects more. Interesting. All right, interesting behavior. Um, we're probably gonna come up with a follow-up video for this. Um, I'm gonna probably see other people's reviews. And, um, you know, I'm probably going to, yeah, you can just turn it right off like that. Yeah, I'm gonna look at other people's reviews and probably look over the manual, which I have not even looked at yet. But, um, yeah, supposedly actually touching it with your hand versus having it attached to a stick or something makes a difference. And apparently movement makes a difference. So interesting, interesting, uh, you know, observations here. Um, I should probably know what I'm doing a little bit more before making this initial video, but um, hopefully I'll be able to come back with, uh, you know, a second video on this that's, that's a little bit uh, more informed and uh, it may be a little bit more useful. Now, um, you might want to give me a thumbs up and you, you might want to, you know, if, if you know something that I don't know, leave a comment down below. Tell me if I'm right or wrong about something. And um, yeah, de definitely, we want to know what you think. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever, comment down below. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on any of our new content or videos that are coming out. We have a ton of other stuff already published. We cover coding, servers, electronics, 3D printers, um, you, you know, all sorts of great techs related stuff, hardware, software, um, you, you know, all Raspberry Pis, single board computers, tons of great stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button to get more of that kind of stuff in your YouTube feed. But also you're, you're probably going to want to hit the little bell icon once you, you do subscribe. That way YouTube will actually notify you when we do come out with new videos. You don't want to miss the, that new content coming out. Um, and if we do come up with the follow-up video for this, you're not going to want to miss that either. Um, I don't know when that will be coming up, but, um, you know, something I'm kind of planning on. I have a ton of new videos I'm planning on all at the same time. We have a lot of great stuff coming up. Building robots, uh, we're building robot kits. That's actually like my next video I'm about to record is this uh, robot kit right here. Um, I'm about to do an unboxing of that, and then I'm going to do an assembly and some testing. Our previous video, we reviewed this uh, magnet tester that tells you, you know, north, it'll tell you which pole of the magnet you're touching, whether it's the north or south pole. That was a pretty neat tool too. You might want to go back and check our video history because that video should have been posted just before this one. But um, a lot of stuff to look out for. Um, might want to check our videos we've already posted, see, see all the other great content we've come out with. We like to take things apart and disassemble things and do a lot of interesting stuff you're not going to want to miss. Um, that said, hopefully you found this video interesting or, or maybe even useful. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.